and welcome back to your phone burner training. I'm Rachel C. with more information on lead streams. A lead stream is a distribution method that allows the admin to distribute leads to their team. Before you can set up a lead stream, you've got to make sure your team account is set up in a standalone mode. To make sure you have a standalone team account, go to your team page at the top center of your screen, then click on the gear wheel on the right and click on settings. Make sure that the standalone box is gray. If it is, it means you have a standalone team account. For more questions on what this means, you can reach out to our support team or go to your support page, go to admin quick start and review the team setup video, step number four. Now on to lead streams. Click on contacts at the top of your page, then click on the gear wheel to the right and select lead stream. Click on add lead stream to the right. There are four different types of lead streams that you can set up, but before we go into those details, let's cover some lead stream vocabulary. The distribution folder is the folder in your admin account that will be used to hold your leads before they are distributed through your lead stream to your agents. The receiving folder is the initial folder destination of leads that are distributed to your agents. You can choose to lock this option into place so that it cannot be changed by your agents. More on that in just a few. And the recycle folder. The recycle folder is the folder that leads return to after they've been called and dispositioned with a button that does not move them out of the lead stream into a different folder. You can also set a recycle time, which tells PhoneBurner how long to keep the lead in its receiving folder before it recycles back to the designated recycle folder. We'll also cover this more in just a few moments. The term recipient is referring to your agents. Which agents on your team are allowed to receive leads out of that lead stream? Now let's get right into the four different types of lead streams. First, we'll talk about a blind pull. A blind pull lead stream is the quickest way to start dialing, and it creates a click and dial workflow for recipients of the lead stream. Recipients do not claim leads prior to starting a dial session. So that means they're not able to cherry pick from a lead list before dialing. Recipients begin their dial session from a page called leads. Look up at the top of the screen. Once you enable a lead stream and add a recipient to it, they will have a page like this that says leads. And on that page is where they will start their dial session for a blind pull lead stream. A blind pull lead stream also allows the admin to lock in place certain disposition buttons so that your agents will use the buttons that you determine upon setup. On the other side of this coin, a preview pull lead stream allows recipients to claim leads from a list of leads on the leads page prior to starting their dial session. Recipients then access their claimed leads from a designated receiving folder on their contacts page. They begin their dial session from that receiving folder on their contacts page, and recipients can choose any disposition buttons that they create or that you share down to the team when they start their dial session. The next type of lead stream is a round robin. In a round robin lead stream, leads are rotated one by one to participating recipients until each recipient recipient reaches their max allotment or the leads run out. The round robin is also a great way to do a bulk direct deposit of leads into a single recipient account. So in that case, you would have a single recipient for a round robin lead stream. For this lead stream, leads are imported into the distribution folder in the admin account, and then they are automatically triggered to be sent to the recipients of the lead stream into their designated receiving folders. When recipients begin to dial, they go to their contacts page. They click on their receiving folder and then they begin a dial session by selecting leads out of that folder and clicking begin dial session. A round robin lead stream does not allow the admin to lock in specific disposition buttons to be used, but it does allow the admin to handpick certain leads to be distributed to specific recipients or to have all leads distributed as evenly as possible across the board. Next up, first come first serve. In the first come first served lead stream, leads are distributed to the first recipient until their allotment is reached before proceeding to the next recipient. This is great to use when your team has a hierarchy of recipients. Recipients of the first come first served lead stream can set notification settings to receive an email notification when they've been distributed their allotted leads for the day. Recipients will then go to their contacts page, access their receiving folder, select the leads they'd like to call for their dial session, and begin dial session. The first come first serve lead stream does not allow the admin to lock in disposition buttons for the recipients to use. Last but not least, the lead blitz lead stream. The lead blitz lead stream is a great way to distribute real-time leads to your recipients. Active recipients are notified of an incoming lead in real time. First, the recipient has to go to their leads page to claim it, then the lead gets dialed immediately. So, upon claiming the lead, the recipient will initiate the dial session. The lead blitz also does not allow the admin to lock in certain disposition buttons to be used for the dial session. Now let's take a look at how to build these lead streams one by one. Each lead stream is set up following the same process. First, enable your lead stream. Then, name your lead stream. The name of the lead stream should be intuitive for the recipients of the lead stream so that they know what kind of leads they're calling based on the name. The description of the lead stream lends more information to the name of the lead stream for your recipients. Then, select the type of lead stream. Remember that when selecting the lead stream distribution type, the blind pull will allow you to choose which buttons can be used for those dial sessions. The other lead stream type 
types will not offer this option. Next, select your distribution folder that the leads will be pulled from, the receiving folder that the leads will land in temporarily, be sure to lock in the receiving folder, and the recycle folder, which is usually back to the distribution folder to keep leads in that lead stream loop. Enter your recycle rules, whether or not you want to hide the total number of leads available to your recipients, and then hit save. Once you have your lead stream saved, come back to your lead stream page and add your recipients to your lead stream with this first button on the right. You can select the leads that you want to add from your team, select either a total limit or a daily limit for each recipient, and then click add. More training is available on this page by clicking the question mark button in the top right corner. You can go to the lead stream overview video or get more details on each lead stream from the more lead stream training option. Remember, Leadstream is a great way to distribute leads to your team and lead them to more success. On behalf of myself and everyone else here at PhoneBurner, happy dialing and bye for now. <music>